Hi, quilting friends. Happy Feature Friday, everybody. It's so great to have y'all back with me again today. We are going to continue working on that little quilt that we worked on last week. We used point to point last week. This week, we're gonna fill in the opposite triangles, the ones that were all different colors. Um, I'm gonna use just a regular design to fill in my triangles. I had an idea of what I wanted, got that figured out, and then we're gonna use the modify feature so that once we have our design set, we can go ahead and just move that from block to block without having to add the pattern over and over again. So our modify feature will allow us to just reset our quilt area space on our quilt top without having to add a design, resize the design, rotate the design. So let me show you how that works. I'm gonna turn you guys around to look at the quilt again and then we'll get started on our robotics. So here we are with our little quilt top. We've got the stars and circles that we did last week with our point to point. And then here's the little design that I found that I put in my triangles that I really liked. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add those into the rest of the triangles on our quilt. So I'm gonna show you how to do that without having to resize this and rotate it every time. So let's go ahead and get started. Right now, uh, the big box that you see on the screen is just my general uh, quilt area, my safe space. So we're gonna add a layout box that's gonna be shaped like our triangle. Angle. I've got my layout highlighted and I'm going to come over here and hit a plus sign so that I can add a layout box. I'm going to do this little pink triangle here. So I'm going to get up in the corner here and um, my robotic system is telling me to set the first point in my pattern box. And now that I'm on that little corner, I'm going to go ahead and hit my plus sign. I'm going to slide my machine down to the next corner, get that lined up and hit my plus sign again. And then I'm going to move up to my third corner of my triangle and I'm going to hit my check mark. When I do that, I've got a nice little triangle on my display screen. And then I'm going to go over to patterns. Um, I'm going to go into my recents because I should have that little guy in my recents. And there it is. So this is the pattern I was using. And you can see that it does say E to E on the end. So this was an edge to edge pattern that I just decided I liked so much I didn't care and I was gonna use it in my triangle. So I'm gonna highlight that and hit my green check mark. And as you can see, that is a giant edge to edge pattern. We've got a start here and a stop here and it probably chains on to make a really beautiful design across the whole quilt, but I want it in my little triangle. So we have to do some editing work to make that happen. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is come over to my rotate button. So here I am in edit that always highlights after you've added your pattern and I'm going to use rotate, which is here on the right side of my display. It's this little square with the um, curvy arrows on it. So when I hit that, I've got my rotate features across the bottom and I'm just gonna use my 45 degree to rotate this design around. I want the little circle at the top of my triangle. So I'm just gonna rotate this design so it's kind of in the same orientation as my triangle. So I'm gonna hit that 45 degree rotate a couple times and now my design is in the same orientation as my triangle. But now we have to make it fit. So I'm gonna come over to my scale feature, which is the little square with the arrows coming out the opposite corners. And I'm going to use my auto scale feature. And when I hit that, my design fits perfectly in my little triangle the way I had wanted it. So we can go ahead and get this stitched out in our little pink flower triangle down here. So I'm gonna do that. I'll put you on pause for a second, get this stitched out, and then we'll work with our modify feature. All right, so we've got our little design in our pink flower triangle. So now I wanna move it over to this little blue um, triangle over here. I don't know, those are phases of the moon, I think. Um, 
So we need to modify so that I don't have to rotate this design again and resize it. We're just going to modify our area from here to here. So to do that, this is our screen after we finish stitching out. We're still in home. We're going to come back down to layout. When we hit layout, we have all our features over here on the right. Normally, we're just adding new pattern boxes with our plus sign, but we're going to come down here to the little wrench. And this little wrench is our modify our um, pattern layout area button. When we engage that, it's going to give us the same prompts that we would get when we would be setting a brand new layout area, but we're just modifying. So we're going to be coming to a new location on our quilt, which is going to be this little triangle over here. I'm going to set my first point, which is going to be my top corner, and I'm going to hit my plus sign. I'm going to move down to my bottom corner here and hit my plus sign, and I'm going to move up to my top corner and hit that check mark. And when I hit that check mark, my design is automatically loaded into my new layout space already in the um, orientation that I had changed it to. So I don't have to do that rotate feature. It's already resized for the most part. So I don't have to load that pattern and do all that editing. So this is kind of nice when you have multiple triangles or squares or rectangles on your quilt and you want to use the same design over and over again. You can modify and just relocate it. Now, because my triangle is a little bit different over here than it was over here just because of quilting and take up um, with the density of this design, I'm going to have to just wiggle this a little bit because my design's slightly out of this triangle. All I have to do is go back into edit and I can just rescale it a little bit with my auto scale and it will go perfectly into my triangle. If you don't have the auto scale feature, you'll just need to move it over a little bit and possibly tuck in your corners of your design. So now that I've got that into place, I can stitch this one out. I can go across my whole quilt. Um, I will have to use all of the triangles going in the same direction. Um, so I'd have to fill in this one. I'd have to come and do this one and this one. Um, and then when I want to do the triangles going in the opposite direction, I'll have to do a new layout box. Um, add the design, rotate it, size it, scale it again, and then I can do all of the triangles that are going in this direction. So you could modify for the opposite direction, but when you do, it's going to place the design going the same way it was. So on your screen, it would be kind of out here um, and you'd have to rotate it around and resize it a little bit anyway. So I find it easier just to do all of the matching spaces at one time and then set a new layout space and get your design in it and then go ahead and modify with all of the same ones. So that makes it a little bit easier um, when you're modifying to just do all of your matching spaces at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get stitching and get this done so I can uh, roll my little top and get the rest of it finished. I've got something else planned for the four pieces that came together. It's kind of the centerpiece of the quilt, so we may see this again. I will talk to you guys soon. I appreciate y'all being here today. This is a great feature. If you're doing a quilt top where you've got lots of the same size um, layout blocks, um, whether you've got a half square triangle quilt or something with squares or rectangles where you want to repeat a design over and over again, use that modify feature and make things a little bit easier on yourself. Thanks so much and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.